Over the last hundred years, the industrialization of agriculture and the modernization of our food supply has drastically reduced world malnutrition. Basically, the food industry did what we asked them to do, focus on shelf life and help feed the world. But one unintended consequence has been the growing reliance on ultra-processed food. And it's been catastrophic in terms of public health. Today, 50% of the calories Americans eat come from ultra-processed foods. In other countries, it's much lower. Our generation is the first in human history to have such a high ultra-processed diet departing from the whole foods humans have been eating for centuries. We're now eating more heavily processed and shelf-stable food filled with chemical additives, preservatives, artificial sweeteners, and unhealthy refined grains stripped of their fiber. We're eating more calories, but getting fewer real nutrients. And we're paying the price with our health. Three quarters of American adults suffer from a chronic health condition, and 40% of children have at least one chronic disease. 14 million American kids are obese, and many more have prediabetes and insulin resistance. So what are we doing about it? First, we're seeking your help. The agency has launched a stronger, more systematic review process for food chemicals already on the market. Chemicals such as BHT, BHA, ADA, phthalates, polyparabens, and titanium dioxide, to name a few. We're also interested in knowing which chemicals concern consumers most. We're interested in your thoughts. So we're asking for public feedback. Today, in partnership with USDA, we've published a request for information on how we should define ultra-processed foods. There's no single universally accepted definition of ultra-processed foods. And no definition will be perfect, but we need to get started. We need to agree on a formal definition to inform government programs, to inform government spending on food, and to better study and address the problem with good sound research. Check out the FDA website to learn how you can provide input. Second, we're conducting research on how to further understand the impact of ultra-processed foods on health. This includes a new joint research initiative that FDA launched with the NIH that will answer some of the relevant questions like how and why can ultra-processed foods have an impact on one's health? How might certain food additives affect metabolic health and possibly contribute to chronic diseases? These are the big questions in medicine that we've not been asking that we need to start asking. We have an epidemic of chronic diseases. We need to start asking why. We have cancer rates going up in young people. We've got to start asking why. And of course, we're taking action. We're working with American food companies to phase out petroleum-based synthetic dyes from the food supply, which are a common component in ultra-processed foods. This will ensure food companies treat American children the same way they treat kids abroad. Food shapes our biology in incredible ways. Food can be medicine, but today's ultra-processed foods can have some public health harm. We're hard at work to make sure our food supply is more medicine and less poison. Food is medicine, and it's time for us to start talking about it. There will be lots more on this front very soon.